Good afternoon and welcome to Cole's Backyard Coop. Hope everybody's been doing well out there since my last video. Just thought I'd bring you a uh, update and my main focus today is I want to talk about the um, Murray McMurray Whitey True Green uh, chicken. I uh, got them back in March and um, now they've matured. These girls are all 28 weeks old. Hard to believe coming up on 29 weeks. They're almost um, at 30 weeks. They'll be eight months old. So a few more are laying. I'm up to seven that are actively laying. But um, when I looked out there to see more information about the Whitey True Green, I mean, you find some stuff when you Google it and and on uh, YouTube, though, there wasn't really many videos of adult whitey true green. So I wanted to go ahead and do a video for others that might be looking to try that breed. Any of my subscribers that might want to try that breed from Murray McMurray. I really have to give them an A+. Plus. They are a really good laying hen. And um, they produce a consistent... Uh, green shelled egg, which is uh, the whole idea and what they were bred for by uh, Tom Whiting. Dr. Tom Whiting um, is what Murray McMurray um, says on their website that he genetically um, formulated this hen uh, to be a green egg layer. So you know that you're going to get green eggs from these hens. And so far that's been true. I mean, mine have always laid green eggs from the first day. I have seen um, on some of the, the chicken websites that some people got brown eggs from them. I don't know if maybe they didn't get the whitey true green or, or what the reason could be, but mine have always laid a consistently uh, beautiful green shelled egg. So first let's look at uh, the hens and then I'll show you what the eggs look like. Say hi. This is Myrtle right here. She's a black star. She's been churning nicely. Not quite there yet for Lane, but she'll get there. Oh, and Pearl, my white rock. It's coming along, slow but sure. So slow to mature. The comb's coming in. All right, let's come inside and see everybody close up, but particularly the Whitey True Greens. So the Whitey True Greens, again, it was my first time ordering them, so I wasn't sure what color they would come in and what to expect. On the picture of the McMurray website, they looked like this right here, which to me looks like a red star a comet, you know, with the red and then the white around the neck and white tip tail. But that is one of my Whitey True Greens. And um, that is Mavis, Mavis Green, by the way. I call them the Green Sisters. I have given some of my chickens last names, just for fun. Say hi, Hazel. It's my Bard Rock. She was my first layer at 23 weeks old. Superstar. And you look like a superstar, huh? Besides being so pretty. Not shy of the camera either. And that would be Peaches Abernathy next to her. And I have three that are the Abernathy sisters. That would be Peaches Abernathy. There's Petrie Abernathy. And, oh, actually there's four. That's Ursula Abernathy. And over there is Snow Abernathy. All my Americanas are the Abernathys. Don't ask me where I got the name, but I just thought it was cute. Okay, so this is my other Whitey True Green. Let's take a closer look at what they look like. Note that your Whitey True Green coloring looks very different on this one than that one right there. Note how they also have white earlobes. That is coming from the fact that they're part leghorn in the genetics and that they have very large single combs, like leghorns would. 
Now, from what I've read online, they are mixed with Americana and Leghorn and possibly Well Summer. I'm not sure based upon what I've seen. But that is one of my Whitey True Greens. But you can see how different the other Whitey True Green looks. She looks almost... What I thought they had sent me was uh, a light brown Leghorn. Which they do kind of look like that. Or what I had asked for was a Well Summer. And the coloring looks almost like a Well Summer. But then the comb didn't look like a Well Summery to me. That looked more Leghorn. And then the white earlobe told me, oh, I've got a Leghorn. But then it was one of the Whitey True Greens, which is cool. So they have the large combs, they have white earlobes, and then the body color and pattern can vary. So these are the two that I received. This one is Wella. And that is Mavis. Wella Green and Mavis Green. The Green Sisters. Very calm, docile girls. I mean, I can reach down and touch them. See? Well, she's doing the squat for me, but I could reach down and touch her. They're very sweet girls. Okay, we'll give her her little pat on the back. You can get up now, okay? And they get up and they shake it off. But yeah, they're sweet chickens. They're not bad at all. They're very sweet. Oh, are you going to try to nip at me? Nip the hand that feeds you, huh? Really? 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 You're going to be like that? <laughs> they're sweet girls. They really are sweet girls. Come here, babe. Come here. Show me how sweet you are. Come here. <laughs> they're beautiful, sweet girls. And they lay a very consistent... Um, rate. In other words, they they lay daily. I mean, they they very seldom miss a day, um, which is the leghorn in them again. So they were really bred as a good chicken. So if you're thinking about doing whitey true greens, I really do recommend them. They're beautiful. They're kind of lean. They're not real full bodied. The large comb is just gorgeous. Um, they'll have the white earlobe. Just gorgeous girls. And it looks like... Oh. Miss Well, I guess, didn't lay today yet. We got her back in there. She's my late layer today, what I call the late layer. It's late afternoon. Hollowing out herself a spot in the box to lay her egg. Good girl. Hi. Wanna peek out and say hi to us? Yeah. You do your work. We'll leave you alone, okay? You do your work. Good girl. Alright, so. Oh. I left the door open and I have an escapee. No surprise that it is, uh, Hazel. Miss Hazel, honey, you got to get back in your house. Okay, back in. Yeah, you're a good girl. Give you another beautiful look at the Whitey True Greens, and then we'll go look at the eggs. Everybody else is doing good. Um, started getting a few more eggs. We're up to seven eggs a day now out of 12 so we're getting there slow but sure remember the girls had a rough start so they're all looking big and beautiful healthy um doing great so again whitey true greens if you're thinking about getting some they would make a great addition to your flock good layers pretty colors nice big combs and the white earlobe. Oh. Maybe Pearl's gonna go check a nest box out. She needs to get on the ball at almost eight months old. What is up with that? And this one, she's not laying yet, Winnie.
That's Miss Winnie Wayans. Mm-hmm. Oh, and my Whitey True Blue over there. I'll do a separate video on her, but that is the Whitey True Blue. That's Luna Potts. That is the True Blue. They are bred to lay. Beautiful sky blue egg. She just recently started laying and it is gorgeous. I'll have to include her in my next video and show you hers. Alright guys, that's my video on Whitey True Greens and everybody else doing great. Let's go look at the eggs. See how pretty my Whitey True Blue is. Miss Luna Potts. Alright. Let's go take a look at some eggs, shall we? I've got a basket of eggs over here with just the Whitey True Green eggs, just so you can see their eggs. Okay. So these are the Whitey True Green eggs. Hopefully in the video they look green. But they're a beautiful, kind of an oval-shaped egg. Weighty, pretty. They both lay about the same shaped egg. I took two eggs from Wella and two eggs from Mavis to show you. And these were just over the last couple days eggs. But those are the eggs that you can expect to get from them. They're just simply beautiful. They're a little more green than what they show in the video. I'm looking at it through my phone. Uh, but they're a little more green. They might look a little more blue in the video, but they are green. So, definitely get some of these if you're thinking about something different to add to your flock that you've not tried. I mean, Americanas are great, but these you know will give you a green egg, and they just really look pretty. Kind of makes you feel like you have Somewhat of a leghorn in the flock, but they're not. They're part leghorn. But yeah, those eggs are just gorgeous. I don't get tired of looking at those. All right, so one last look at the girls. I wish Ursula right here would start laying. She's either going to give me... See, the guy that I got her from wasn't sure if she's a black olive egger or if she's the Americana that lays the blue egg. So we'll see what she's gonna lay. She's nonetheless a beautiful black Americana or olive egg, we're not sure yet. But she's pretty to look at. And right behind her is Snow, which I haven't caught laying yet, but you never know. She could be one of the seven, but I don't think she is. I've never seen her in the box. And then Miss Winnie here. I can't believe this um, Hawaiian taking so darn long to start laying. I thought they were a little faster on the draw than that. But, alright guys, feel free to leave comments. Ask any questions about the Whitey True Greens. Or about anything else, of course. Always welcome your comments. And I got a YouTube email congratulating me on 1,000 subscribers. I was so excited about that. I'm like, whoa. I really, really appreciate all my subscribers. Um, you know, I just do this for fun. It's, I just like to share my knowledge and uh, experience with the chickens and let you see them and see what they do and how they act and their eggs and different breeds. So I really... Uh, I'm honored that I have a thousand subscribers. That might not sound like a lot, but for me it is. So, um, thank you so much out there for subscribing. Um, like this video if you did. Leave comments. Um, if you're not a subscriber, please do subscribe. Um, I try to bring out videos at least once a month with more information about the chickens. And I thought I'd do a featured breed of the Whitey True Green. Um, if there's another one that you want to hear about a little more, let me know. I'll talk a little bit more about them. And, um, thank you so much.
I hope you're having a great day wherever you are. And uh, from Cole's Backyard Coop. Thanks again for watching the video. Hope it gave you some good information about the Whitey True Green if you're thinking about getting some. And uh, as always, happy chicken keeping out there. And we're coming up on October. I'm hoping we start to get a little bit of cool weather. Ah, that would be lovely. Isn't that right, girls? With your feather coats on, I'm sure a little cooler weather would be really nice. All right, guys, take care. Another peek at these pretty eggs. And bye for now.